Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Friday's Thought for the Day. Today, so we get halfway to the end of Psalm 119 by the end of this week, I'm going to read three stanzas, verses 65 to 88. Do good to your servant according to your word, Lord. Teach me knowledge and good judgment, for I trust your commands. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I obey your word. You are good, and what you do is good. Teach me your decrees. Though the arrogant have smeared me with lies, I keep your precepts with all my heart. Their hearts are callous and unfeeling, but I delight in your law. It was good for me to be afflicted so that I might learn your decrees. The law from your mouth is more precious to me than thousands of pieces of silver and gold. Your hands made me and for me. Give me understanding to learn your commands. May those who fear you rejoice when they see me, for I have put my hope in your word. I know, Lord, that your laws are righteous and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. May your unfailing love be my comfort, according to your promise to your servant. Let your compassion come to me, that I might live, for your law is my delight. May the arrogant be put to shame, for wronging me without cause, but I will meditate on your precepts. May those who fear you turn to me, those who understand your statutes, May I wholeheartedly follow your decrees that I may not be put to shame. My soul fates with longing for your salvation, but I have put my hope in your word. My eyes fail, looking for your promise. I say, when will you comfort me? Though I am like a wineskin in the smoke, I do not forget your decrees. How long must your servant wait? When will you punish my persecutors? The arrogant dig pits to trap me, contrary to your law. All your commands are trustworthy. Help me, for I am being persecuted without cause. They almost wipe me from the earth, but I have not forsaken your precepts. In your unfailing love, preserve my life that I may obey the statutes of your mouth. Well, those are powerful words. And it's challenging to realise that when we are afflicted for standing by God's word, the more we go on to value the word of God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, please help us to realise your good purposes in the midst of affliction. May we delight in your word more and more. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good Friday.